Hi, I'm Peter Burge, and if you're new here, thanks for finding my channel. Make sure you hit the notifications and the subscribe button. Today, I want to take you through what happened last weekend. We had this huge storm cell come through the central coast and absolutely blow us away. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching Critter Cam. Just out here in the sun, basking in that beautiful warmth. About to give my blue tongue some food in the outside enclosures, and here they are, high and dry. I'll tell you what, wasn't like this last week. Blue tongues are flooding, everyone's flooding. This is where they were chilling out here. Moved them to higher ground. Ooh, ouch. But, um, gonna move old Charlie, the old girl, and old Buffhead somewhere a little bit warmer and safer. Right, yeah, Australia have had an unbelievable steaming hot summer, 48 degrees Celsius days, baking, hot, screaming weather, causing or allowing the multitude of forest fires to get out of control. Because we haven't had rain in so long. And then what happens? Well, here it is. The rains have come, just like everyone's prayers. It's been raining for three days non-stop here at the rainforest. It is absolutely insane. I'm out here digging trenches, re-diverting water away from my facility. An absolute nightmare, but someone's got to do it, right? I get someone else to do it, but no one else is going to do it. And the whole area around here is flooding. It's getting out of control. And why am I wearing something fluorescent? Well, I was up here the other day trying to find out where the water's coming from and re-divert it. And a few big branches were blowing down out of the trees. At least if I get knocked out, they can actually find my body. Might be unconscious permanently. Who knows? <laughs> well. So much more water to divert. Gotta get back to it. Woohoo! Right, uh, with a bit of blood, sweat, and tears, I managed to divert the water. Ah, oh, no longer be pushing up against my rodent and reptile facility. It's now flowing exactly where it should. Back down to the creek. Oh yeah. What else would you do on a Sunday morning? Living in the rainforest, getting ya 1.8 to 2 meters of rain in three days. Crazy. <laughs> the trees coming down everywhere here, crossing the roads. Pretty big storm. Lots of high wind gusts. But like everything, we're on top of the mountain here. Imagine what those guys are like down the bottom. I absolutely fear for them. I'm gonna go down now to get the chainsaw later, try and clear that back for my neighbor. That's what we do. There's a few more trees if we come down here. See the branches. The branches are just sheared off at the top there in the high winds. Oh my goodness. It doesn't look good for the end of the road, guys. Check this. All sorts of madness. The road's all flooded down here. Looks like the neighbor's house has gone underwater. Pretty crazy, look at this. As you can see, all that storm water has now subsided. The river has got back into action and it's all drained away. But you can see some secondary effects. After all that rain, a lot of trees come down in the area. So you gotta watch out, the high winds will bring down the trees after the ground is totally saturated, causing the trees to fall over without any notice at all. It's 
pretty dangerous guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's update of what happened with that big storm cell that rolled through last weekend. It was an absolute blitzer. Trust me, we weren't without power for about three days. That was crazy, running off generators, fueling every four to five hours. Tell you what, that's one way to lose some sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed today's show. If you did, make sure you leave a comment below. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Until next week, guys, take care of yourself, be safe. Thanks for watching Critter Can.